Hello and welcome in. My name is Drumroll Tony. I'm a streamer on Twitch, musician, and music teacher living in Seattle. We're finally getting back to some music from Baldur's Gate 3. This is Raphael's theme. I'm excited. Let's go. Life's all mortal lives expire. So Okay. What an inner, what a melody. Borislav Slavov. Oh my God, man. We're doing things here. It's the intervals in the beginning for me. Life's all mortal love. Ba, ba, da, da, da. That is so powerful. There's you, it, there's nothing else to listen to. It's solo voice. That is an amazing way to grab your attention. Life's all mortal love. And then. Expire. Programmatic. There's it's staccato legato. Expire. I don't. I'm not a lyrics guy. I always like to listen down to what's underneath. But when it's so exposed like this, you kind of can't help it. But what a phrase. There, there's just so much to pull you in. I love the 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 key, the tonal center where we're at. This is very. It's almost haunting. But then that one little difference of bum, bum, short, long. It just does everything for me. Love. Souls go to their in the and then we arrive at a climactic mm. and a little vibrato in the end there man it's so it's such tasty writing it's such tasty performance uh I, like again souls to their dooms souls to their tombs i'm not totally sure but you get the meaning though it's it's hitting you in the chest it's very programmatic there is no question and uh, the fact that it's solo voice and then with organ accompaniment it makes it very kind of a uh, cathedral like and just a little bit more you don't really know where this is going okay let's keep going Okay, so we come back in. We have the same, uh, the motif, this big, powerful melody at the beginning, but now we double it. Well, it's not doubled. It's actually just featured in the organ. And then we have our backgrounds with a, a chorus, a choir there. That's, it's great writing. Let's keep going. Hell, hell. Hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Ooh. Curtain falls. But hold your applause. Ooh. Squirm, squirm. For now, down here come the claws. Oh my god. I got so many chills right there. Who is Raphael? Oh my god, dude. Okay, I've only played Baldur's Gate a tiny bit. I talked about that in the previous videos I did. Here, Fun fact about me, these types of games... It... <laughs> It'll be a week and I get no work done. So I'm waiting. I, I think probably wait till December when maybe there's a big break and I can just jump jump into this. Otherwise, I won't do anything. But okay. Who is Raphael? What are we? Neutral evil? This does not sound like a great character. I mean, I think he's great so far. But you know what I mean, though? Like, this does not sound like a hero. It sounds like adversity. Hell, hell. Hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the core. Listen to that. Hell, hell. Ba -ba -ba -da -da. Do you hear those intervals? Ba -da 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 -da. Remember the beginning? Should we rewind and, and check it out? We're bringing that theme back. We're like little ornamentations from that theme. This is so good. Hell, Here hell. it is. Hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Very, very clever use of what at least sounds like wooden's right there. And we got some nice just low and bass strings digging in there to just kind of set the, uh, the foundations. <laughs> this is so... Ah, oh, this is so freaking good. Hell, hell has its laws. Hell, hell. Effect in the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Mm. Squirm, Augmentation. Squirm. For now, down here come the claws. What's the that? Uh. 
and the crescendo of the dissonance there at the beginning. Obviously, the biggest part is the, the dynamic shift right there, and we get some other percussion instruments to come in. But, man, this is just ridiculous in a great way. Back about seven seconds, and let me just take this in and see where we go. <laughs> Dude, my whole body is has chills right now. Um, you know what sucks about video? I'm here. I'm just gonna I'm gonna just detach for a second. God, I'm I'm chilled out right now. It's you know what's crazy to me? I'm old, man. I'm 45, man. It like it was you were fucking nerdy if you played games back in the day. Like this is crazy. This is music for a video game. I'm I'm praising this right now. And don't <laughs> I just can't believe how good this is, dude. <laughs> The way this theme is coming back and the it's it's really about the composer though because we you know it's how you put it on the score you take you take the ideas you create a motif you create a melody you create a theme and then you have theme and development we're getting such great theme and development here do you hear how in tune those chords were oh my god not anyone can do this this is this takes a lot of individual talents and skill sets and proficiency developments and just great musicianship this is 145 I'm going back to significantly i need this whole segment again sorry i'm just kind of it's just a weird thing um <laughs> my my point is like go, doing my undergrad and masters in music you don't understand how many times from like people about like video game music was just seen as bad like you know like you were just so forced to study the you know four main eras of you know music and then like the main composers within those eras and that was that was the focus and if you liked other shit it was like Ah, God, this is like straight up musical theater, man. Like, but also mixed with other stuff. This is so good. Again, I feel like I'm on a pit gig right here. And Raphael is like this awesome character, you know? Did we, oh god, that chord right there is so good. Ba ba. So we do not have expire like we did before. This is a little bit of difference in the delivery here, but it matches what's being written underneath. God damn, this is so good. Ah! So put it this way, you want you want to think about oh my god, this is so ridiculous. Um, if you just listen to the beginning, ba ba da da da, everything you just got, ba da da da, the huge climactic point. Sit there without well, you can't because you've heard it. But if you were just to hear that melody and be like, okay, what what's the voice leading for these chords going to be? Where are we going to take this and score this out? Try and do that on your own and see if you come up with something even remotely. <laughs> you just you won't though. That's the thing. You have to have his brain. You have to have his ears. Oh, my God, dude. Sorry, we're going to... I just need to hear... This is 141. We're going to go back to 121. It's the way we resolve into these chords and how we just build up that already previously great dynamic, that clim uh, climactic point, but it's even more. We're only at 121. I imagine we have to go... The contour must go down. I don't know. That's going to be my guess, but I just need this one more time in context. Sorry that I'm kind of like freaking out and just being tangenting, but... This one just feels a little bit different, so I don't know. I'm just nerding out right now. Jesus, dude. 
And the things that really add for me, it's when you listen down to the bass line, you hear the involvement of the timpani and you hear the involvement of the tubular bells, or orchestral chimes that adds such a credential, just climactic delivery point. It just hits a little bit different. I, I promise we'll go on this time. Just listen down to the low end and just the way all those things also work with the brass that we're getting. It's, just, it's, it's so good. It's all been for more true souls that couldn't be bought, doomed, detected, and caught. <laughs> okay, all right. No more deals. It's over. Oh. Oh my god that was killer man i loved hearing the horn part there i thought it was a drone for a while but it, it had some movement and then into the uh the the moving almost fugue like organ stuff going on god damn dude this is so good this is so freaking good no more deals it's over the final act you're too no. no more grace it's over this house of hope that's the best thing i've listened to in a long time oh my god i haven't gotten chills it's pretty normal for me to get chills here and there in music, but not consistent ones. And also usually when I, I get it once and then if I rewind immediately, I just had it. So I'm not normally going to get it again. I've gotten it every fucking time I rewound on this. Oh my God, dude. I don't know what to say. I know I rewound a million times, but I do need to hear the ending one more time. I apologize, but uh, just bear with me because there was so much great stuff going on here and I just need this. Okay. This is the last 35. Here we go. No more deals, it's over. The final act, your doom. No more grace, it's over. This house of hope. Man, the no more deals, it's over. And the ascending horn line, and then the eventual entrance of the crescendo, and boom, 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 boom. The string stuff going on, that's just genius, man. That is freaking genius. Again. No more grace, it's over. This house of hope. Yeah, I can comfortably say uh, this is the best piece of video game music I've heard in a long time. It's short. It's only two minutes and 35 seconds. We turned that into a 13-minute video, but whatever. Uh, it, I'm going to go back many more times and listen to it on my own. Let me know what your favorite piece of music from Baldur's Gate is. Is it this? Is it something else? What else should we be doing on the channel with Baldur's Gate music? All right. Thank you so much. My name is Drumroll Tony. Catch me when I'm live on Twitch. Link for all the socials down in the video description below. YouTube thinks you should watch this video next. If you like this video, thumbs up. If you did not like this video, thumbs down. But you should definitely subscribe and help me hit that goal of 200,000 subscribers on the channel. Have a great day. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate you. Take it easy. Bye-bye.